Hey guys, I want to talk a little bit about uh, temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. I wrote a post about it on the Tuesday about uh, what I think is the cause of TMD and that is that the, the jaw is resting too far back in posture and is causing the mandibular condyle to jam into the joint fossa in the, in the temporal bone. So uh, there's a simple solution to this and you basically just want to get your jaw forward in posture. And Elizabeth asked me how do I do that? Well. I meant it quite literally when I answered you. You want to use the muscles of your jaw and pull the jaw gently forward about four millimeters and you stay there forever. It's not a temporary resolution, it's a permanent resolution because you decompress the joint and it will heal and you will be better. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much that simple but we have to keep it there. It's, uh, it's habitual work so instead of just strengthening the muscles the pterygoids for example and bring the jaw forward we can do that as well actually we should do that as well but we need to do something about our habits so yes you keep eating like with normal occlusion like you did before because you have to crush the food with your molars uh, you can also talk uh, in a normal way but generally we want to work on how we open the mouth so instead of opening the jaw down and back like people with TMD always do you want to learn to open the mouth down and forward, like it should if the pterygoids are firing properly. So, once again, you bite your teeth on your occlusion. You can see I have a little overjet, so it's quite, it doesn't look weird on me when I get my jaw a little forward. And you get it four millimeters forward and you stay there. Your suprahyoid, the muscles in, in here, they should not be tense. You should not have to clench those when you protract the jaw. Uh, the suprahyoid actually pulls the mandible backwards so it's very very important that th these muscles are not fighting and by these muscles I mean the suprahyoid and the, the pterygoid muscles so the suprahyoid must be relaxed we pull the jaw gently forward uh, with the pterygoids we can additionally strengthen the pterygoids I have exercises for that on my website and that's about it and once you decompress the joint it will get better okay thanks